Today, I'm gonna to give you my top 10 etiquette rules. Welcome back to Nasty's. Hi guys, I am Stephanie, also known as Nay. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Make sure you leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe down below. Make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you never miss a video. I am a daily vlogger, and to all of my knees, daisies are ready. Welcome back. So I love you guys, and just thank you guys for all your constant support. Um, we are almost at 475 subscribers, which is crazy. So our family of YouTube daisies are growing bigger and bigger, and I just can't wait until we reach that 500 point. You guys are just simply amazing. So let's get into today's video. Today, I'm gonna to give you my top 10 etiquette rules. You may have different etiquette rules, completely fine. Um, I just think that these are very important that we should all follow. Um, leave down in the comments below if you have any more, would love to hear. So these are not in order from like number one to 10. So these are just random. So my number one, chatting or texting on your cell phone and physically with other people. So I am at fault for this. I know I do this, um, but only if they're on their phone because I think they're being rude. So then I'm gonna like, they're not talking to me. I'm just gonna be on my cell phone too. So I think we actually need to put down the phones a little bit, enjoy each other's company, have that communication since we're there physically in front of each other and just put them down. Number two forgetting to be thankful. So if you guys notice, I have a brand new scarf, right? It looks like rope. It is pretty amazing. My awesome friend Kelly made this for me. It is absolutely gorgeous. When she gave this to me yesterday, I'm like, oh my goodness, it is so pretty. It is like so nice and it's snowing outside today, so it's perfect. However, Schools are closed, businesses are closed. It's like a blizzard, so I won't be needing it, but I'm gonna wear it inside the house today. You can wear it different ways. You can wear it longer, you can wear it up close to your neck. So being thankful, um, just saying thank you as soon as you get a gift. When you go home, write a thank you note so that you're appreciative of the gift that they just gave you. Number three, holding doors for other people. Okay. So I know like back in the day they said, oh, men should always hold the doors for the women and just women, you wait until they hold the doors for you. No. So I know like nowadays, like if someone opened the door for you, just say thank you. Don't wait, just go. Cause we all live busy lives, just go. So there are some times when I hold the door for men and they're like, no, 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 come on. I'm like, no, come on, like it's fine. You can go through the door too. I understand chivalry and it's not dead, but I just think that women need to hold the door too. Number four, if you see someone in need, help them out. If you watched yesterday's vlog, there was a little boy who needed help and I helped him out. If you see someone on the streets that need help, help them out. If you know there is an old lady or somebody who needs help crossing the street, help them out. So if you see someone in need, help them out. Okay, number five, always call the person that you are visiting. So just don't show up unannounced because if you do and they are in their bathrobe, they have their hair not done, no brow on, no pants on. Um, I know in our house, the boys only like wear like boxers around the house. Um, and I don't wear a bra around the house because I'm home and I don't need to. Um, so if you're gonna show up at someone's house, please call, email, text, schedule it in advance. Um, because a lot of times their house could be messy and I know with having three kids Yeah, our house can be really messy and it's kind of embarrassing. So call me for you show up Number six be helpful. So this kind of goes into if you see someone in need to help them out um, So if you go to a party and you are the first one there Don't just sit there if you see that the host is trying to like do things and get things done Ask them if they need help um, I know that anytime that I go to a house party, um, sometimes we're there early, sometimes we're not. It doesn't matter what time you show up. If you see that the hostess is running around like a chicken with her head cut off, go ask if they need help. If they say no, that's fine, but at least you offered to help them out. Number seven, the elevator. Make sure you let people 
out of the elevator before you go into the elevator. It is common courtesy to let the people that are already on the elevator out before you get on. And the same thing with a train, let them out before you go in. Number eight, introduce people. So if you are walking with your spouse or your friends and they know somebody and they start a conversation with them, you kind of feel left out. So make sure that if you are, if you see somebody that you know, or if you're out and about, make sure you introduce the people that you are with so they don't feel isolated and alone and so that they're involved in the conversation. <laughs> Number nine. So this is very, very important. And um, a lot of people don't follow this, which they should. So when you are out in public, please, please, please talk quietly while you're on your cell phone. I can't tell you how many times that I've heard craziness and people talk louder. I don't know if they just can't hear or just have own speaker. That is so disrespectful for other people. We don't want to know what's going on in your personal lives. We don't want to know that um, someone knocked someone else up and now he's dating someone else and um, this happened with your husband or you um, need to go to the doctors for this this and this have those conversations a little bit more quieter don't scream them out loud because we don't want to know about them. Um, and if you're like in a doctor's office, I know a lot of doctor's offices actually have signs posted like no cell phone use in waiting room. Um, just respect others. If you're on a restaurant, talk a little bit quieter. You know, keep those private conversations private. Um, and if it's really personal, just, you know, do that in a different place. Number 10, be on time. So it is very important that you're not wasting other people's time. If you're going to the doctors, if you're going to work, if you are going to meet up with someone, um, it is very important for you to be on time because you're wasting the other person's time. I know like when you go to the doctor's office and a lot of times you are waiting and they are wasting your time, there's nothing we can do about that. You don't know what the other patients are telling the doctor. But you don't wanna have like your friends waiting because you know, they took time out of their day to meet up with you. And if you are running late, unless it's traffic, I can understand that. But if you are just a constant late person, just try to be on time so you are appreciating other people's time. So thank you guys so much for my top 10. I'm gonna be posting them right here. Make sure you leave a comment below let me know what some etiquette tips that you guys use so thank you guys so very much for being amazing being amazing daisies like i said if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button i would love to have you part of my nays daisies just always think positive never give up live life to the fullest and know that i love you and i will see you guys tomorrow bye